But yeah, welcome to a quick team builder for the original Sun and Moon Pokemon. Of course, I'm not the first one to realize this, and I'm sure it won't be the last. The uh, Solyok and Lunatone are basically Pokemon Moon and Pokemon Sun. But with that being said, and with the announcement today of the uh, Pokemon Moon and Sun games, well, officially announced it leaked yesterday. And it uh, looks like 7th Gen, go ahead and check out that video I just uploaded right before this one. Uh, on my channel, it is uh, my why I think 7th Gen's coming, or why I think the next game is 7th Gen. And uh, with that being said, though, we're just going to go ahead and uh, go through this really quickly. Uh, not really the best Pokemon, mate. They're really not. Like, plus one mine, they, uh, they rely on each other in a uh, double battle. But apparently the Sync is not given to uh, Sorok and Lunatone because they don't particularly have anything uh, to help each other out. The other Pokemon could not accommodate much better. So we're just going to go through it, though, as best we can and do what we can with these. And now that I've done pretty much a minute intro, we're just going to go ahead and go through Sorok now. Power Herb to power up the, uh, the, well first this is a physical attacker, so yeah, you kind of don't want to use uh, special attacks in the first place, but if you're going to, you want to max that out, and you probably want to give it a little bit of, uh, you know, its speed doesn't even matter, but we're going to go ahead and give it some speed. Maybe I'll just feed something, honestly, not the best, you could probably put an HP if you really want to, but I'm just hoping to actually hit something before I die. That's, that's basically the reason why I uh, put in the speed. Uh, anyway, then you might as well put four in uh, HP. But now, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to be a live team, but I just forgot to put it in there uh, beforehand. But yeah, Power Herb to power up the uh, Solar Beam Flamethrower to take care of its bug and its uh, its bug, its steel, and I believe there's an oh, and its grass weakness. Uh, Sigma Beam to take care of the dark weakness and Shadow Ball to take care of the ghost weakness. Really, it doesn't have a wide enough move pool to uh, to have a lot of moves pull double duty. The only ones that really pull double duty would be the uh, Solar Beam. Which takes care of the uh, grass and ground, or the water and ground weakness, and the flamethrower that takes care of the aforementioned ones as well. Now, if you want to actually run it the way it's intended, which is a physical attacker, you'll want it, uh, you kind of lose the coverage element, but you can get Zen Headbutt, Stone Edge, Rock Polish, and Acrobatics. Basically, the reason for that is any other focus sash, and the reason for that is to double your speed, make you probably the fastest thing out in the field at that time. You might be on the way to people, that's fine. Acrobatics is now double power, Stone Edge, and obviously Zen Headbutt is still solid moves, and you're like I said, pretty good attack. Base 90, what, base 95? So that's going to be roughly, uh, what, 317? Sorry. I, it's right in front of me. I couldn't even tell you what it was. That's kind of embarrassing. Then you have the support class. Yes, it does get Stealth Rocks. Uh, it, it also gets uh, also gets Gravity, which is a, one of the few Pokemon that does, but it's kind of stupid as Smackdown. It's basically Gravity without the uh, Dark uh, immunity, and it actually does some type of damage. Trick Room, because it is a slow Pokemon. Yes, I didn't know I did put Speed in there, but I don't think it makes too much difference. You could, of course, just uh, nix the Speed and put it in something else, like perhaps Defense. It needs Defense a little bit more. Actually, it needs Special Defense a little more than, uh, than anything. Will it to get rid of the... Uh, just to obviously lower the attack and, like I said, Stealth Rock. Much better Stealth Rockers. If you're looking for Stealth Rocker, if you don't have to use a Solar Rock, don't use a Solar Rock. There's better options out there. So many better options. Now, Lunatone, you have the advantage of actually being a special attacker in the first place. So you'll see we only have uh, two sets for it because we do not have to have that one. Basically, you can use something that resembles coverage, not really, but something that's kind of sort of coverage, as well as an attacker by running the uh, Ice Beam Psychic. Uh, ancient Power and Rock Polish. Uh, same same exact issue. Uh, same exact thing with the Focus Sash. Just get fast enough, and then you'll be able to hit him pretty diff uh, pretty hard. At uh, was it 200? Uh, 317 again. Uh, yeah, it should be something like 317. I didn't even fully finish this one, in. but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna say it's gonna be 317. We're just gonna go ahead and drop it right there, or uh, add it right there. Get this halfway up right there because you're Rock Polishing. You just want to make sure and probably invest in the defense because you're able to in this. Or invest in the HP because you're able to with this one. And lastly, you have the support one. We don't have an item on it right now. Honestly, you could probably run the same item as you ran on the last support class if you really feel like it. I'm going to go ahead and say we want to run it with a... Let's run it with a light clay just because we can. Uh, not particularly any reason. I know we only have reflect, but it does get access to light screen if that's your type of thing. Has a helping hand. I tried to admit, I tried to differentiate these. You could run pretty much the identical sets uh, for support between Solark, uh, Solark and Lunatown. But I was just trying to make them a little different. But it has Helping Hand, Reflect, and Chick Room, as well as Toxic. Chick Room obviously being normal, uh, the normal uh, in-between. The thing that both of them have in common. Uh, that being said, you'll see right here that it's uh, full HP. A little bit more than, well, it's a ridiculous number in defense. Probably not something most people want to obtain because it's very hard in the game to get down to the exact uh, EV. 
And of course you have the speed, which is about half. Uh, just so you have speed, maybe something, sort of. But then, you know, chicken, you can just drop that and maybe full invest in defense or do whatever you want with that, really. Uh, with that being said, uh, that was a quick video. Sorry there wasn't much to work with here, but I did what I could with it. Uh, nothing too ingenious you know, uh, and strategic, because ultimately, super complex uh, strats do tend to get super complicated to use when you're getting hit. Uh, they're great on paper, not so great in practice, and so I like to keep it simple. Nice uh, kiss you. Keep it simple, stupid type thing. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, please do remember to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment if you have any suggestions or any ways you want me to improve these uh, type of videos. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, be out of here, and I'll see you all next time.